Harkashan Singh Sarjit was an Indian communist politician from Punjab, who served as the general secretary of the Communist Party of India from 1992 to 2005 and was a member of the party's political bureau from 1964 to 2008. Harkashan Singh Sarjit was born in 1916 in a Sikh family in the village of Bandala, Jalandhar district of Punjab. He started his political career in the National Liberation Movement in his early teens, as a follower of the revolutionary socialist Bhagat Singh and in 1930 joined his Najwan Bharat Sabha. In 1936, Sarjit joined the Communist Party of India. He was a co-founder of the Kisan Sabha in Punjab. In the pre-war years he started publishing Duki Dunia and Shingari. During the war, Sarjit was imprisoned by the colonial authorities. When India became independent and partitioned in 1947, Sarjit was the secretary of CPI in Punjab. Although he sported a Sikh turban, throughout his life, Sarjit remained an atheist. The seven and a half decades long political life of Harkashan Singh Sarjit began with his staunch fight against British colonial rule. He played a pioneering role in developing the farmers' movement and the Communist Party in Punjab before emerging as a national leader of the Communist Party of India and the All India Kisan Sabha. It culminated with his leading role in the CPI for an eventful four decades. Sarjit began his revolutionary career influenced by the martyrdom of Bhagat Singh. He hoisted the tricolor in March 1932 at the district court in Hoshiarpur at the age of 16. He was arrested and sent to a reformatory school for juvenile offenders. He came in touch with the early communist pioneers in Punjab after his release. He joined the Communist Party in 1934 and became a member of the Congress Socialist Party in 1935. He was elected as the secretary of the Punjab state Kisan Sabha in 1938. The same year, he was externed from Punjab and went to Saharanpur in Uttar Pradesh where he started a monthly paper, Chingari. He went underground after the outbreak of the Second World War and was arrested in 1940. He was imprisoned in the notorious Lahore Red Fort where he was kept for three months in solitary confinement in terrible conditions. Later he was shifted to Doli Detention Camp where he remained till 1944. During the partition, he tirelessly worked for communal harmony and violence torn Punjab. Just after independence, Sarjit was forced to go underground for four years. Several other communist leaders like A.K. Gopalan were arrested under the preventive detention laws. In the 1950s he led the historic anti-betterment levy movement in Punjab in 1959. His work with farmers led to his election as General Secretary and then President of the All India Kisan Sabha. He also worked in the Agricultural Workers' Union. When the CPI split in 1964, Sarjit sided with the Communist Party of India. Sarjit was one of the nine members of the original CPI Politburo. He continued to rise within the party until he was elected General Secretary of the Central Committee of the CPI in 1992, a post he held till 2005, retiring at the age of 89. Sarjit is known for his steadfast opposition to the BJP and communalism. He was instrumental in forming a number of anti-BJP coalitions in the 1990s and for ensuring left support the present UPA government. After retiring from his post as General Secretary, Sarjit continued to play an active role in Indian national politics. Many times, including after the 2004 Lok Sabha election and during the 1996-1998 United Front government, his role has been that of a cunning kingmaker in parliamentary politics, mending and assembling broad coalitions. With his health declining, Sarjit was, for the first time, not included in the CPI Politburo at the party's 19th Congress in early April 2008. He was instead designated as special invitee to the Central Committee. Sarjit died in New Delhi on August 1, 2008 of cardiac arrest. Sarjit, aged 92, had been convalescing at the Metro Hospital in Noida since July 25, 2008. A literary work in Punjab titled Bao, which has uncanny resemblance to the life of Sarjit was written by Darshan Singh, a close associate of Sarjit. The novel remained unknown till it was printed by the mainstream media. The newspaper article sparked a flurry of coverage and it was then reported by most Indian newspapers. Though the author Darshan Singh claimed that the novel was not based on the life of Sarjit, he termed his novel virtual reality. He did say that novels have been written about American presidents without naming them. The main character is named Karm Singh Kirti, with Kirti meaning a worker in Punjabi, a term often used by the left wing in Punjab. The communist part of India, with which Sarjit was affiliated, was unhappy at the description of Sarjit in the novel. Thanks for watching.